We just got here, just, just landed, uh, waiting for the Uber. It's super hot, humid, um, but glad that we made it. It was a four hour flight and there was no Wi-Fi. So try taking a flight in the middle of a work day with no Wi-Fi for four hours. It's, uh, I think I was going through a little bit of withdrawals from not being connected, but this, I guess it's probably good for me. But yeah, we're gonna head over to the hotel and uh, meet up with the rest of the crew. I'm about to ride one of these bird scooters. I'm about to get on one of these birds and go eat. whether it's gonna be a, uh, a half-assed breakfast or if it's gonna be a good breakfast. Hoping for the latter. So we made it to the Core Mega Marathon here in Dallas, Texas. This is a one-day event put on by the Core Training. I'm not a member of the Core Training, but I think it's always great to learn from other people. So I came out to check, it, check out all the information. Uh, the good thing about today's event is all of the speakers and coaches in the core are actual elite performers. So these are top producing mortgage lenders and real estate agents that took their business from say 250K all the way up to a million dollars plus and are actually gonna share with us the exact systems and tactics that they use to explode their business. I'm here with Rick Ruby, the CEO. Boss man of boss, bosses. Boss man of the chorus. So if you're new here, my name's Neil. I put out content to help real estate agents and lenders. Uh, if you like this content, hit that like button and consider subscribing. So a lot of the themes from today's presentations have been about simplicity and the simple way of explaining things to your clients. Uh, one of Rick's ideas from this morning was the best way to explain the financial opportunity of home ownership to our clients. So um, we take like a $300,000 house and typically a client's putting down 10%, so that's $30,000, right? That $30,000 represents their investment in this property. That's what they're putting up. So the thing that clients miss is they're investing $30,000, but they're getting a return based on $300,000. So let's just say that that property is gonna go up a conservative 2% a year. Now in most of our markets, we're averaging between five and 10% of appreciation, but let's use a super conservative appreciation, which is 2% a year. Um, that's over 40 years, and that's even below the national average. If you take 2% a year, over five years, that home's gonna go up 10%. A 10% return on $300,000 is $30,000. So when you take your initial investment of 30,000 over a five year period using a 2% rate of appreciation, now you have a return of $30,000. You have a 100% return on your initial investment. Uh, annually over those five years, it works out to 20% a year. So I think when you explain it to clients in this manner using a simple example of 20% a year and 100% doubling your money in five years using a very conservative rate, it's a powerful presentation and it shows them the true financial opportunity that buying that first home can give them. So uh, one of the other ideas that was a good reminder today was, um, you know, sometimes we have so much information to give our clients and business partners that we inundate them with information. We tell them all these things that we could do for them and all of our uh, pros and all these different things. Uh, and it may not be applicable to their situation. So um, you could tell somebody 10 different things that are amazing, but if it doesn't apply to their situation, then none of it's gonna matter. So I think um, the better strategy would be to ask them specifically what they're looking for. What do they hope to get out of this transaction or what's the most important thing they're looking for? And then structure your presentation based on what they specifically need. Because I think if you tell them too many things, it's gonna just be over their head. But if you tell them one thing that addresses their situation, it could be a home run for everybody involved. So the overall thing is, you know, talk less, listen more. 
So one of the presenters today, uh, advice to the entire audience was to get off social media. Delete Facebook and Instagram from your phone and just completely get off. What did you say? Because it's wasting your time. And truth is, for 95% of the people here, it's probably good advice because they're just scrolling mindlessly and wasting time, right? It's just a huge time suck. But um, what I've found is for the small group of people, it can actually be highly effective because I'm using it to scale my communications and reach more people. So in that case, it's actually helping explode my business. Um, so there's just kind of two perspectives there and I'm using the latter. So everybody in this industry is always looking for the silver bullet or the, the next secret or tactic that's going to explode their business. And that's not what this conference was about. This conference was about the simple basic things that everybody knows but they don't do enough of or they don't execute properly. So things like time blocking, making the calls that you need to make, how many calls you need to make, how many leads do you need to have, how many appointments do you need to set in order to reach certain goals. And uh, basically creating a framework where you're accountable to somebody in order to complete these activities. So I think uh, it was really kind of a reminder and uh, just a session where you would learn the basic things or remind you of the basic things that you need to be doing to grow your business. And um, so there's a lot of value we took from it. Each speaker had different story on how they were able to imp implement the information and explode their business. So uh, I'm gonna bring this information back and put out some content regarding my take on a certain certain items and how I'm implementing them in my business. Uh, if you liked the video today, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I will see you guys on the next one.